Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're back with another Epic Universe update. Now, this Epic Universe update will be a little bit different. We're going to skip out on Super Nintendo World because we expect a full reveal with official concept art from Universal themselves on Monday about Super Nintendo World. So we're going to save that section for that day. But in this video, we'll include all the other lands, Celestial Park, and the hotel. So let's get started. A lot, lot of good changes here. Starting off at Celestial Park, you can see the fountains are on concrete still and waiting for their water. And there's even the foundations for a secondary building that will open as phase two. The rest of the stuff, uh, our structures are under construction. You see some steel structures are the two entrance structures there. And a lot of the pathways uh, are being formed in the dirt there and just have to await their concrete. Here's that structure. Again, has about six uh, foundation pillars there. It's going to be a building for, uh, I'm not sure what the building is. could be a restaurant or uh, just a, a retail location. But that will be opening as phase two. Uh, one of the uh, things for phase two of the uh Celestial Park area. Over at Constellation Carousel, uh, work crews continue to work on the three ride mechanism, the three turntables that will con contribute to the larger ride mechanism. This uh, interesting type of carousel will include double movement, but there'll also be areas that you see those little holes there, where guests can just ride uh, in, in a vehicle. that will be like a normal carousel and won't have that additional spin, additional turn on this Constellation Carousel. There'll be no water here though. Um, unlike it's not like the mock thing so it'll just be a, a cool looking carousel with an additional spin here's a, another look at those uh, holes that are being drilled in there that will eventually hold all the ride vehicles looking at starfall racers you can see stations are all complete and they're even starting some painting and theming on that constellation element yes and it looks pretty nice you can see the rock work in the bottom half has been completed and a bronze coat and it looks like a green coat as well. Bronze and green coat are being painted on the upper levels of what will be a comet. The constellation and star theme continues all, obviously all the way to the show element here as if you look closely at the fountains that are being placed here in the massive show, they're shaped like a star, which is uh, pretty cool. So I can't wait to see what this uh, celestial show may consist of because it looks pretty cool. You can see that clearly defined that star shape with each of the stars points in uh, each of the areas of the um, pool there. Of course, it has the blue bottom for getting prepped for its water. Looking at the entrance to Epic Universe, supports are ready, getting in the ready on top of the entrance portal for the Kronos element um, there, which you see in the concept art right there. And the ticketing and guest relations and all that good stuff, all those buildings have some scaffolding on them, but that should be coming down soon, as all I need, really need is painting. Jumping over to the Dark Universe, you can see this is the Curse of the Werewolf's Q. You'll have some, it's going to be shaded by trees and some uh, structures, some kind of structures there, that the steel stills up for those structures, but it'll really be like kind of dense, creepy forest. You can see some pathways lined in there in dirt waiting for their paint. These pathways are already done across the whole land from Dark Universe. They're covered up in plywood so they don't get dirty from the ongoing construction of the coaster, but that is, uh, there's a full look at the, some of the trees being placed to create a berm, and there's a big dirt mound there. I'm sure that'll be taken away and be covered with more trees as time progresses. Another look at those pathways. These are the inner pathways of the queue itself. Those are not covered in plywood because they still have to be, uh, poured or eh, yeah poured and then uh you see there's that structure there that still is awaiting the covering on the return break run to the station here is a test vehicle yes a test train here with uh looks like five cars coming out of the maintenance bay into the actual low station you can see there's a themed wood element though probably a, as a themed door or something to shield the entrance to the maintenance bay from the actual attraction itself Looking at the extended queue for the Monsters Unchained attraction, you can see the pathways are laid there, and uh, those brick walkway or those walkways with the spikes uh, have been installed as well. Just waiting on uh, that dirt to be converted to pavement from connecting from the extended queue to the main attraction queue itself. Looking at the Village of Darkmoor, you can see a lot of the rooftops and theming for the buildings has been installed with those cool cobblestones and. Um, again, European village-like areas. I 
11. You can see a lot more scalping probably coming off of this area in the next few weeks as they start to move quick, quickly now with the final installations on the facade work. Here's another look at the Darkmoor Village from another angle and you can see just a few more rooftops have to have that blue sheathing on them but are going to get that awesome coat of paint and uh, theming that the rest of the village has gotten so far. The themed portal plate has been installed at the entrance portal and they have some gaping holes in it because the tree trunks, that tree motif, is going to kind of go over the portal so it's like the overgrown tree will be overgrowing over the portal which looks it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Still my favorite portal, probably my most anticipated land still. It just gets better and better every single week it seems. And here's one final look at the Burning Blade Tavern and the Curse of the Railroad of Coaster both looking absolutely fantastic with those plywood covered walkways to protect them from all the uh, construction. Let's take a quick look at the hotels and see the Terra, uh, Terra Luna and Stella Nova hotels over there getting its final, getting their final facade work. Still a lot of work to go on the Terra Luna, but the Grand Helios Hotel is uh, wrapping up. It's moving quickly now. Its dome is almost fully completely in there as well as the ballroom structure and all the rooftop amenities. Here's a close look at the uh, hotel from the Grand Helios from the park side and you see lots of glass has been installed some all the way up to the almost the upper levels on the ninth out of tenth floor there on a lot of the guest rooms but the main atrium style glass is about halfway up but still making fantastic progress here's a close look at the Stella, Stella Nova and Terra Luna this is the Terra Luna but still getting a lot of facade work done and again it has a lot more to go but it's starting to finally pick up the pace as Stella Nova across the street wraps up one last look at the back side of the grand helios hotel with the pool adjacent pool bar and the parking structure that uh will not be guest facing from the hotel moving over to the how to train your dragon isle of burke area you can see wow look at this we have the um retail shop here that's heavily themed and you can see the foundations for the some dragon houses that'll be sitting atop with some dragon animatronics at the coaster going in the lake behind there. That should be a beautiful, beautiful scene when complete. I cannot wait for that. Close look at the, I was going to say Lake Mead, but the Mead Hall over there. Tons of scaffolding. I think someone said this is about 135 feet tall at the very peak, which is huge, but a lot of rock work being completed. So the scaffolding should be coming off, I imagine, in the next few weeks as they're making some great pro progress on the rock work there. Looking at the fire drill attraction, you can see pumps have been installed. Those are those little squares in the flume area. That is going to pump the water to push the boats along. It's going to be a slow moving interactive shooting dark ride. Um, so waiting on more plywood 2D structures to form on those tiny little supports adorning the track. And of course, those are the targets you'll have to hit to, uh, you know, put out the fires. When I see the, all the pumps installed, I expect testing on this attraction to begin soon if it has not already. Here's just an overview of the whole land. You can see the bat, the bay has a nice new coat of paint, not paint, but concrete getting ready for water. It had some water testing before. Now it's getting its final coat and should be ready to go here. Just doing a quick check on this theme. I think this is a candy shop, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I just want to take a quick look at this as this is what most of the land's retail shops will look like. So that will look fantastic in here. Is the train for the Hatter Train and Dragon area? It's not have doesn't have a front uh, front car yet. You can see a little bit of theming on there and some test dumming, so they're definitely t testing this coaster um, over in, uh, in the evenings. And I can't wait to see it toast testing in you know in the daytime. And I can't wait to see what these themed trains will be uh, revealed. Here's a look at the grandstand construction. It's gonna be really cool and pretty nice head chopper moment when you're on that L uh, the roller coaster diving down underneath those grandstands and through the grandstands as that is for that flat ride um, attraction, the the you know, the wing racers attraction or whatever it's called attraction. It's gonna be a really cool kinetic energy and head chopper moment for the coaster and for the riders in general. And here's another look at the coaster going through the Bay Area in uh, another retail shop. In that same retail shop, getting the, uh, of course, the the dragon houses and all that rock work. Look at the beautiful rock work on the side. That's going to gonna look, again, quite impressive when all finished. Lastly, for this update, we're going to check in on the Wizarding World, which not too much change here, but just more and more scaffolding has come off. But I just love this beautiful entrance portal with the, the Arc de Triomphe there and the murals being painted on the wall there it looks just absolutely gorgeous and there's some work going on on the exit what will be the exit path 
uh, to this land right there. Here's more look at the inside of the land. A lot more scaffolding down, more colors, more graphics, and even some nice brickwork happening on the uh, the buildings by the arc right over there. Here's a closer look at that brickwork and even some more logos there. I'm not sure what that says, but um, I'm sure it'll be, it looks like even just like kind of like graffiti art type of way. Like, interesting. Yeah, because I'm looking at the graphics on the other building as well. That definitely looks like some sort of graffiti art too. Very interesting artistic choices, but again, it's Paris, so the whole thing should be pretty artsy because they are known for their art. And here is a look at the uh, information booth that's that little structure in steel and the little concrete path little pavement area that will signify that you are entering going into the portal for the wizarding world area which all look fantastic and that is it for this week's update but again stay tuned subscribe to the channel because i'll be doing a whole super nintendo world section with official concept art plus overlaid with construction images because a lot of progress has been happening over there on monday monday march 11th that information is supposed to be revealed so expect a video that evening because it'll be a pretty fun video to do and we'll have some official concept art as epic university's marketing marketing campaign continues to roll on out if you like this video please subscribe hit that like button and if you want to contribute to the channel consider clicking join to become a youtube member or check out my patreon which you can click in the link below but it's patreon.com slash club 722 for permits and exclusive info and early access to videos just like this one but that is all for now. Thanks for watching this mega update and guys have an epic day.